Leprosy is one of those things from movies and stories, except when it's not and you get it, like if you lick an armadillo. Seriously, true story. Hey guys, Trace here for D News. Most of us have heard of leprosy. You probably associate it with colonies of lepers with missing limbs that haven't been seen since the time of Jesus. But in reality, it's still around today. More than 200,000 cases appear every year around the world, yet few of us know much about the disease beyond its dramatic history. So sit tight, because we're about to clear a few things up. First off, its official name is Hansen's disease, after the scientists who discovered its causative agent, Myobacterium leprae. This bacteria spreads mostly through direct contact with saliva or mucus, but also through certain animals, such as armadillos, which have an ideal body temperature to keep the bacteria alive. So, contrary to widespread belief, leprosy is not actually very infectious. And those who are unlucky enough to contract the disease often go years before seeking treatment as the bacteria reproduces very slowly. And symptoms can take anywhere from 5 to 20 years to develop. That means you could have leprosy right now and not even know it! But you probably don't have leprosy. In fact, about 95% of the population is immune to it. And in the unlikely event that you do contract the disease, there is still hope. Scientists discovered a cure in the 1940s, and since 1995, a multidrug treatment has been provided to leprosy patients around the world free of cost. After treatment begins, the disease is usually gone within 6 to 12 months, and in the last two decades, more than 16 million people have been cured this way. Still, hundreds of thousands of new cases pop up every year, mostly in subtropical regions of Africa, Asia, Central, and South America. The poor are particularly susceptible as the lack of nutritious food, sanitation, and medical care leads to the spread of the disease. As a result, leprosy is much more common in developing nations such as India, which is home to at least 60% of all infected people. Here in the United States, leprosy is extremely rare, with less than 200 cases a year. Although the disease is not deadly, it can have serious implications, especially for the victim's appearance. Left untreated, the bacteria spreads through the skin and the peripheral nerves, manifesting in pale or red lesions and sores, as well as numbness in the extremities. Because they can no longer feel pain in their hands and feet, people with leprosy are much more prone to disabling injuries or secondary infections, which would often require amputation. This would explain leprosy's inaccurate reputation of being flesh-eating, causing one's body parts to simply fall off. Because of their appearance, people with leprosy have been stigmatized. From biblical times all the way up to the end of the 20th century, most people suspected of having leprosy were forced into exile, resulting in thousands of so-called leper colonies. Although governments stopped this practice by the beginning of the 20th century, many leprosy patients, particularly those who do not have access to treatment, continue to quarantine themselves, fearing ostracism from their community. This is one of the reasons leprosy continues to plague certain countries. Discrimination and stigma leads to shame, and this actually prevents people from seeking treatment, which, of course, leads to further spread of the disease. So perhaps the best way to eradicate leprosy is actually just to get rid of the stigmas around it. Seriously, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Now that you know more about leprosy, you should check out this video from our sister show, Seeker Daily, where they explore what happens to people who have leprosy in these leper colonies. You can watch that video here. Today, more than 200,000 new cases a year are reported, and more than half are in India, which is why roughly 700 of these informal leper colonies are thought to exist in the country. In some parts of India, leprosy is equated with the lowest societal caste, untouchables. What do you guys think about all this? Did it change your mind on what leprosy really is? Let us know in the comments and keep coming back here for more D-News.